Ladies, my beautiful melanated queens, this is for you. I have struggles with like getting ingrown hairs. I've had bumps, I've had raspberry legs in the past, but no more. And I'm here to show you what to do to get your legs popping. And this can work on the rest of your body as well. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Hi you guys, welcome back, it's Chandra. And thanks for clicking on this channel. As you can see, we are gonna be talking about how to get smooth, silky legs, bump free. Um, I know you guys loved the video where I talked about making sure that your kitty was pretty. Let's like make sure that the rest of our body is looking good too. So um, before we get into this, if you're not already a part of the family, hit the subscription box below. I'll wait for a second. Okay, thanks. First, let's start off with a key, key thing. This. Now, if you don't know what it is, I'll go ahead and put you in on this game. It's called an African sponge. And it is amazing. I tell you not. I lead you not astray, girl. This, mmm the best thing that you can do for your body. So I know whenever we were younger, growing up, I used to use washcloths, then I moved to loofahs, and then I watched Natural Nisi, and her skin is popping, and she recommended to use this. So this is what I've been using for years on years on years, and it has worked so good because your body needs to be exfoliated, and you're able to actually wash these. You're not wasting money. You're not building bacteria. You can use it a couple of times and then throw it in the wash, and it gets your body glowing. Um, so you must exfoliate. This is a major, major key. So that's number one. Number two, use the right soap. There are a bunch of soaps out there and some, uh, the, some of the soaps are like really drying. Some of the soaps have a lot of chemicals and are not gonna do that well with your skin. I use this and it is amazing. You can put it on literally everything because it is so natural and it's good for the environment and it gives you a little tingle. You can use like the non-scented one. I've only used this and non-scented, but they do have other scents as well, like lavender and I don't know. But I like the tingle on this and it works well with like your face, your badge. Mm. Put you in on this and it lasts for a really long time. It's organic. You need it. You need it. I'm telling you, you need it. Get it, girl. So we have the African sponge. We have the cast house soap. Next, we need to make sure that when we are shaving, that we're using clean razors. If you are going to shave, like I said before, you have to use a clean razor because most of the time, when you're reusing your razor, you're just putting a bunch of bacteria in your skin. And that skin, that bacteria is gonna be trapped in your skin. It's gonna cause you to get ingrown hairs. It's gonna cause you to get strawberry legs. And it's gonna cause you to like break out. Just like you wouldn't put like a dirty rag on your face when you're washing it, don't put a dirty razor on your body when you're shaving it. If you don't already know how to shave, I will do a whole other video on this, but just make sure that you are using a product that is gonna make the shave smooth so you have no bumps on your legs, okay? So we have exfoliated, we've washed, we've shaven. Last thing we need to do is moisturize. African Shea Butter is my jam. I, this has done wonders for my body and I've been using it for like 
three years now. I used to use like the scented lotions and all that stuff and chemicals, I'm telling you, chemicals are not good for your body. Not only is it messing with the outside of your body, but it's messing with like the inside because your skin does absorb things. And scents and chemicals can cause you to break out. It can cause you to give like allergic reactions. So be as natural as possible when it comes to your body. It does have a little bit of a smell, but it'll give you a nice time. It'll last throughout the day and it's not going to clog up your pores. This is 100% natural raw shea butter. I get this from Whole Foods, but there are other places that you can get raw shea butter from. Um, if you have like an African store nearby, support your local black businesses, babes, okay? Um, they sell it. You can also get it online. I just advise you to be very wary of where you're getting it from because there are some places that say that it's natural and this and that, but it's not really and then you end up putting like shit on your face and your body and that's not good by the way i don't put this on my face um i have done it before but it's just very greasy and um it sits on your body for a long time so a little bit goes a long way it'll last you so long and it's so worth it um that is the key all these things are really simple, but I think a lot of people don't think about the small, simple things. So that's that's why I'm here. I'm here to help give you all the tips that I know because we're in this together, okay? And don't feel embarrassed or ashamed if you have any issues with your skin, your body, anything like that. It's all right, we all are going through it. And if you guys have tips, leave them below for other girls and guys, if you guys are going through it as well because some things that work for others don't work for me and vice versa let it go ahead leave that down below help let's all help each other out so i hope that you guys enjoy this let me know how it goes for you um once again once again subscribe if you're not already leave a like for the video share it with your girls and i'll see you guys next time love you bye